how to define Rett syndrome? I, I've heard people say it's like a combination of autism, cerebral palsy, um, Tourette's, um, muscular dystrophy, ALS, kind of all rolled into one. And actually, what I liken it to is somebody who has full capacity to understand language and has independent thinking and, and independent language um, in their heads. It's all in there, um, but they're trapped in their own bodies. This is a girl or a boy that exists as an emotional human being with thoughts and ideas separate from their Rett syndrome. Their Rett syndrome is like an overlay that may cloud their performance, it may change their performance, it changes their output, but it's not changing who they are on the inside. There's a person, a thinking person in there that's capable of learning, that when you look at a child or an adult with Rett syndrome, that don't look at the outside covering. Don't look at all the things they cannot do, because there's a whole bundle of things that they can do.